All right, guys, so we're going to do section 5.1. And uh, this is division decimal patterns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off looking at the problems on the left side over here. And on the left side over here, we have done these problems in Chapter 4 when we are multiplying decimals. And you know that when you multiply a decimal, the number gets smaller. You also know that if we put decimal places into each of these, they're right at the end of the 760. We notice we don't write it. We don't say it's 760 point. But you know that we know that it's there. And in these problems, I like to write them in there. So 760 times 1, we know that anything times 1 is itself. So... We have 760. Next, moving down, we're looking at 760 times one tenth. And what that is telling us is that it's going to get smaller. It's going to get smaller by one place. So I have my hand on my uh, pen on the decimal point, and I'm going to move it to the left, making the number smaller by one decimal place. And our answer is 76. And then we move down to the next one. We have 760 times one hundredth. And when we look at that, there are two spaces. There's one here, one here. So we have two spaces. We know that we start at the decimal and we move left because we're making it smaller. We're multiplying by something less than one and we're moving it over one, two decimal spots. We have 7.6 and I'll put 7.60 for you. And then we're going to move to the bottom one. We're multiplying by one thousandth and we have 760 times one thousandth. And we know that we're moving left three spots. One, two, three. And our answer is 0 0.760. Now, what is cool about this is we're going to start talking about and looking and viewing patterns. You have to look at these numbers and remember them. So we have 767, 76, 7.60, and 0 0.760. Now, remember that because we're going to go on over to the division side. And on the division side, you see 760 divided by 1. Anytime you take a number and divide it by 1, you put it into one group is what it's saying is the same thing. So we have 760. And we move to the next one down below. We have 760 divided by 10. So we're taking 760 and we're putting it into 10 different groups. Kind of like the one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, but 10 different groups. But we're not going to do that because we know that this is 76. Then we go down to 760 divided by 100. So into 100 groups, we have 7.60. And then we have 760 divided into 1,000 groups, which is 0 0.760. And that would be any of these numbers on the right-hand side. If you flip them around, you could say 760 times 1 equals 760. So right in here, say the top one, that equal sign would turn to a multiplication sign. That division sign would turn to an equal sign. And then you would just read it this way, and you could check your answer. Same thing here, 76 times 10 equals 760. So you know that just by checking it, it works. Um, now, another thing to show, if you look at these numbers, they are the same. 760 times 1 equals 760. 760 divided by 1 equals 760. 760 times 1 tenth equals the same thing as 760 divided by 10. And I'm going to give you a little magic trick or show you how this works. We're going to show it as a fraction. So I'm going to look down. I'm going to go 760 times... And then this number right here, one-tenth, we know is one-tenth. So if I wanted to write 760 as a fraction, I could put it 760 over one. And then it, when you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. So 760 times one equals 760. And then one times 10 equals 10. So now we have a 760 over 10. What we're looking at here is in the middle this middle section right here, that line in the middle, is a division sign. It doesn't say division, but that's what it means. So now we have 760 divided by 10. So 760 divided by 10. 
you look right up there, 760 divided by 10 equals 76. So these two right here are the same. Just different ways of writing it. So when you look at the patterns, you look at if you're multiplying by a decimal, it is the same thing as dividing by the number. So if you're dividing by 10, you're the same thing as multiplying by one tenth. The same thing is if you are multiplying by one hundredth, it's the same thing as dividing by a hundred. If you went down here and we look down again, you can see that if you make them into a fraction, they do turn into division problems. So that is the first part of the uh, chapter that you're going to look at. Next, I want to go over a real quick look at exponents. Now, exponents, you have to remember that if you're looking at them, you, you would say 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, and so on. And what this means is it's 10 with zero zeros, which equals one. Now this is saying 10 with one zero, so we have 10. This one equals 10 times 10, which equals 100. Or it actually, if you look at the two, it tells you that there are two zeros. This one, it equals 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 1,000. Or you look at it, it says a one with three zeros. So that's just going to give you uh, a little heads up on what you're going to see on section 5.1 with the exponents. Good luck, guys.